The Chinese Riddler is back in full force. Stop doing full force! And dropped a brand new leak that we're going to break down today, along with everything else you need to know in the Pokemon world. Let's dive in. All right, so first things first, the new Terra Raid event has been announced by Cerebi. It is going to be a ditto that's going to be dropping April 7th through April 9th. Now, in the past with dittos, you were able to kind of use host running like a level one Magikarp. It would transform into that, and then it would basically be the easiest thing to beat. If that is the case, that's going to be your strategy. But this could be a really clutch way to get some super good stat dittos. As we know that these raids will often have higher stats. So having a really good ditto out of this from breeding could be pretty clutch. So keep an eye on the event. I'll give you guys an update if it ends up being worth checking out. But just a few days running for that. And again, could be pretty clutch. Now the biggest thing here is the Riddler has come out and said that April Fools is right around the corner. This was a few days ago. You want to see a riddle or a fake leak? Okay, both seems to be a fun idea. And then on April 1st, proceeded to post this image that had the Pokemon League community going wild, trying to figure out what's actually going down, what does this mean, and everything in between. If you remember last week's video, Eclipse said, hey, stay tuned for news next week. So again, we are on the watch right now for this week to see if there is going to be eventually a news drop. So I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video as to why it could be happening. But keep your eyes and ears peeled to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe because, again, it does seem like there could be a news drop today. So uh, Koo's post says, you're both version info. Here's the first batch of mons who are going to be wearing special hats or masks in Sudachi. Got a clue and not a surprise, huh? And it's an image showing six different Pokemon. And it shows Charizard with the Dragon type, Cinderace with the Fighting type, Greninja with the Poison type, Pikachu with the Water type, Decidueye with the Flying type, and Samurott with the Bug type. And I find it very interesting that this does align with the masks, I'm sorry, with the Terra Raids that we just had, and I'll talk about masks in a little bit, but this aligns perfectly with the Terra Raids that they've been launching all this time. Is it possible that these are the particular Pokemon, or at least some of the particular Pokemon, that are going to get new forms in the DLC? Now, let me rewind a little bit. If you've been following kind of the leaks and stuff like that, we know that the DLC is going to introduce new Terra type forms. So, currently, there's a Terra type for each of the different types in Pokemon, you know, Dragon and Ground and Rock and stuff like that. But all the Pokemon, when they Terra, they have kind of the same functionality. However, in previous games, we've seen things like Dynamax and Gigantamax being separated, where some Pokemon will Dynamax, some will Gigantamax, and then there's a buff for those particular Pokemon that can Gigantamax. So the thought now is that, based on leaks and riddles, that we are going to get Pokemon that have special forms through this DLC. Now, what that extra buff is going to be, I think it's still kind of unknown. Whether it's going to be a stat buff, or whether it's going to be an attack type buff, like a stab type buff, where they get more damage output from whatever type they're Terra into. But it does seem as though that that's going to be something that we see. So is Q basically pointing at the fact that these particular Pokemon are going to get new special forms? And are those special forms tied to the types that they had from these Terra Raid battles? That would be a huge curveball and actually make a lot of sense, right? So basically the idea behind it is, okay, in the DLC, if you have a Charizard that has Dragon Terra type, it can now unlock this new form. And thus, when you Terra into Dragon Charizard, it gets some sort of extra buff, right? And the same thing would apply to Pikachu. If you Terra into a Water Pikachu in the DLC, maybe it becomes Surfing Pikachu and has some sort of a buff. Now, the thought here is that it's all tied to masks, right? So, we've got these different Terra hats that the Pokemon wear, but the thought is in the DLC, it might be tied to masks, which makes a ton of sense when you factor in Ogre Pond and the potential there. Before I dive a little deeper into the mask stuff, I want to let you guys know that we've got some epic merch over at TeamShotty.com. If you have not done so yet, head over to TeamShotty.com. You guys can use code STELLAR today to pick up three shirts and get 15% off your order if you pick up three shirts or more. We've got tons of shiny designs, tons of amazing Pokemon. Don't miss out at TeamShotty.com. Seriously, duck out your closet. Summertime's coming. You're going to be outside. People are going to be hanging out with you. You're going to want to rep your awesome Team Shiny shirts. So go to TeamShiny.com. I'm sure you'll find a design you like. And again, use code STELLAR to get 15% off. You pick up three shirts or more. Don't miss out. So Soul Silver says this, and I think this is spot on. Was always planning on talking about this, but Koo sped up my timetable. Terraforms, will be will they be Terrasal Crowns that change the appearance, or will they be Terra Masks like what we see in the DLC? It's very possible the masks of the three hero Pokemon are just special forms to them. So when you think of Ogre Pond, right, the new legendary Pokemon, it has a mask in front of it. And then we've got the three different Pokemon, uh, Fezzendipity, Monkey Dory, and Ogidogi. And the thought that these Pokemon may have different forms based on the mask they wear 
could be clutch and then again we know that the dlc the first dlc is going to be tied to this summer festival where kids often wear these types of masks which was imagery in these trailers so i really feel like we're heading in the right direction here of thinking and theorizing that these terra masks could be the difference maker as to why these pokemon have different types in the dlc soul silver says terra masks would make so much sense they explained why these forms weren't possible in the base of Scarlet and Violet, but now they are. Adding a second type to an already terrestrialized Mon is they'd probably be a held item that allows the transformation. That would be actually bonkers. So not only do you Terra into a type, but he's theorizing that the mask makes so you Terra into two different types. So imagine having like, I don't know, let's say for example, you're a, uh, a Terra Fire Charizard, but you're wearing the Dragon Mask. Or the other way around, right? You're a Terra Dragon Charizard, but you're wearing the Fire Mask. And then you Terra into Dragon, and then your mask activates, and then you're Dragon in Fire. Which, dude, would turn the whole thing on its... It would turn Terra upside down, which has proven to be a really cool mechanic and competitive if you've been following the regional circuit. So, I just hope that the mask will be fused to the Pokemon and change its form like the art below, instead of being a mask on top of the Pokemon's face like we see with Ogre Pond. So, we'll have to wait and see. Then they go on to say that there's unlikely an option where it's both. Maybe it's the Terra forms of the three heroes and Ogre Pond have the mask element added to the Terra crown and then the other Pokemon have this hat element however Ku did say hats or masks which will it be the bottom line is we still know nothing about how these forms will work I love it Soul Silver. I love it kind of a, a fun realization there at the end but nonetheless we have this hint here and again it was on April Fool's but he did say that he was gonna post something that was kind of related to uh, giving a real riddle or a fake leak or both seems like a fun idea so I think that there's something here it's just a matter of the community kind of figuring out what it all means but these are very important Pokemon that have been dripped fed to us over the last few months I do feel like there's a really big possibility that this is what it's gonna be these particular Pokemon are gonna have different forms based on the Terra types feels so obvious but at the same time it really lines perfectly with a lot of the stuff they've done in the past one other thing I do want to mention is Lumio's post says all this talk of news this week and there are hidden vi uh, vi uh, videos unavailable videos or hidden videos on both the Pokemon channel uh, and the video game channel what does that mean we'll have to wait and see it could mean that there's some po uh, some videos in the playlist again just keep an eye out every single day this week I'll have you guys with the news if news drops I'll cover it here right away so you guys will know you'll get updated but it is possible that we get an update I mean it's our April there was a lot of thoughts that this DLC was supposed to come out in summer they said it was gonna be fall so we'll have to wait and see what this next update is gonna be but don't forget Pokemon is more than just Scarlet and Violet like they have a ton of spin-off games there could be something for Detective Pikachu. There could be a ton of stuff that they could talk about. So just hang tight on that, and I'll keep you guys updated here on the channel. So let me know what you guys think about the latest rumors or leaks regarding the masks from Riddler, Koo, and everything in between. Lots of exciting stuff to talk about in the Pokemon world as we edge closer and closer every day to that DLC. Don't forget to check out TeamShiny.com, pick up some sweet merch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.